So David and I are at home and we're cooking today and we're going to have these wonderful crab claws. They're going to be broiled in the oven. They should so be totally delicious. And they're from where? Sitka Salmon Shares. And David is diligently working on stuffing pumpkin blossoms. Squash blossoms, Deborah. <laughs> and what are you stuffing them with? A cheese mix with sumac. So we grow sumac in our yard. So you took some stuff uh, off of that. It's goat cheese and ricotta. Ricotta cheese, goat Fresh cheese. Ricotta. And what else? Sumac and garlic. So then after you stuff them with that, what else do you do? Fry them. Are there nuts in there? Oh yeah, there are pecans in there. Ooh, I love pecans. Roasted pecans. So after he gets them all stuffed, you can see he's got quite a few there. He's going to put them in this cast iron skillet and put some oil in there and undoubtedly cook them for a few seconds. It won't be a long time just to kind of crisp them up, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we had some maybe a year and a half ago. They were delicious. I know some people are like, oh, who wants to eat flowers? But hey, these flowers are delicious. So there's a male and a female flower if you're worried about the pumpkins or the squash reproducing. <laughs> so the male flowers, when they come on, they don't have that little round squash under it, but the female does. So that's how you tell. So you can eat the flowers and have the squash. The male flowers. Yes, the male flowers. So you can have both and enjoy it. So now David has made a batter here. He's got 15 squash blossoms ready to go. And then his oil that he's using, you can see right here grapeseed oil. So David, what's in your batter? Flour. And? Baking soda. Yeah. LaCroix. LaCroix. Epervescence. <laughs> so his secret sauce here <laughs> that he's going to dip the blossoms in and then put them in the grapeseed oil on a nice hot pan there is um, some flour some baking soda and some LaCroix. So that's what he's got. The blossoms are so beautiful. We decided to plant a lot of pumpkins this year, so. Squash. They are gorgeous flowers. And then I have over here in the oven, show you what I have over here. I have the crab legs cooking. So they're cooking away. Anyway, it's time to turn them, so I have to go. But I will definitely be back to go. talk about okay. these towels. Dipping. And putting them in the pan. And you only want to put them in there long enough to be crisp. Flip them. And then pull them out. They're very delicate, but they're delicious to eat. If you try it, I think you'll like it. They're simmering away here. And that was only on there about a minute and a half. Then David pulls them off. And then he puts more in. My crab legs are only going to cook for three to four minutes. They just got to be warm and hot, I guess would be the better term. But I put a little bit of butter and basil on them. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of lemon on the side. Mm. Well, now look at this, we've made progress. So there's the crab, we broiled it in the oven, um, on broiler on high for about four minutes. Then we've got squash blossoms, and we like red wine with ours. And then we've got a nice pot here to put all of the bones and shells in. So, 
Bon appetit and let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. David, li David likes crabs. And you know what? They're very, very healthy for you. Have a good bon appetit. Hey, we're back in the kitchen here with Deb Pochi. And one of the things that you've probably seen on my channel before is my love of tea towels with crazy sayings on them. And I get these in Omaha in the old market at a card store. It's supposed to be for cards, but it's my entertainment. I go in there and I read cards, mugs, puzzles, keychains, refrigerator magnets, anything you can think of. These guys have it, and it's a little racy. It's a little, I guess, avant-garde. So if you're looking for a great gift to uh, kind of give to a friend or a coworker or anybody in your family who has a great sense of humor, I highly recommend this place. So here's a couple of the new towels I've got. The food has weed in it, and it's, <laughs> it's a green towel. And it's got these pretty little weed flowers and weed leaves. So I thought that was great. And to commemorate that, at the same time, I bought some candy bars that also have the cannabis oil in it, which is supposed to be highly therapeutic and, I guess, good for whatever else. So we tried those. We're trying that. <laughs> And they're delicious. I mean, it's a great dark chocolate. And I've had no munchies. I've had nothing weird from it. But it's great candy. This towel, I hope everybody can relate to this. This is amazing to me. How many times have you gone into your kitchen, cleaned it, spent hours in there, getting things organized, whatever, then you come back only to find out that it has been a complete shit show in your kitchen while you've been gone. <laughs> so, this towel is amazing to me too. It says, congratulations, you turned my kitchen into a shithole. And then you have a little teapot, a coffee cup, everything's filling. And it's got that nice traditional look. You got a little mixing bowl up here built ingredients, slopped all over the place. So I think if you're in the kitchen and you like funny little things, I think you should go check out this store in the old market in Omaha, Nebraska. If you're passing through on I-80, um, if you've got family in the area, maybe you guys want to take a time out and go down there now that things are open, at least for the time being, and you can enjoy a nice little walk. Oh, and that amazing berry rye that I just featured, um, a few days ago, they have amazing drinks, all original creations from the bartenders here in Omaha, Nebraska, and you know, the other great thing is down there, there's at least four or five completely awesome restaurants. So check it out. Les, Bou Les Bouillon, Les Bouvettes, the Spaghetti Works. Um, then there's um, a couple of others that are just really phenomenal. But I'll let you come check it out. Dubs OG! is recommending these things because we hang out there. We love it there. And they also have a fabulous cigar bar. So even if you're not into cigars, I don't smoke, obviously. However, they do have great drinks there. They've got cognac, wine. They have a fantastic humidor that you can walk in and smell this amazing aromas from cigars literally all over the world. But the place has a very cool vibe to it. And you'll enjoy um, walking around the shops after you're done there or just taking a break at Mr. Toad's, which is another great bar. It's kind of got the London, England vibe to it. And what else? I just think the people down in the old market are just the best people you can find in Omaha. 
because they're fun, they're witty, and they love hanging out and having a great time. So join in and enjoy. Dubs OG is coming to you with some great recommendations if you're traveling this summer. So City Limits is the store here in the old market. I'm gonna just kind of pan out so you can see some of the stores. This is about a six block square area. And there's just, there's a Spaghetti Works over there on the corner I was referring to as one of the great restaurants down here. And then there's a lot of construction going on right now. New restaurants going in. But here at City Limits, they have all of the cool stuff that I was talking about. Fun books, fun calendars, puzzles, all kinds of cool things. And there's this coffee cup if you have to be passing through Nebraska, it's not that bad. <laughs> anyway, there's all kinds of cool things in here. This is where I love to get my tea towels and there's one of the tea towels I featured before, Bitch I Am The Secret Ingredient. And then the one we just looked at here, food. <laughs> the food has meat in it. And they have some cute hot pads and mittens to go with. So if you're looking for some great things, great gifts, I highly recommend City Limits. And they've got cool puzzles if you're a puzzle person. They also have some great coloring books in there. And then they have games, very adult games <laughs> that you can tap into if that's what you're into for kind of some fun uh, evenings, adult evenings together. So as we walk down the street here, I'm just gonna show you just a tiny bit more about the old market. Typically on the weekend, it's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're gonna see a lot of musicians down here. And they typically play right here on the corner. And we have bagpipers, we have people who are great on the fiddle, people who play the trombone. This is one of my favorite stores here in Nouvelle Eve. This place actually caught on fire and blew up from a gas explosion that happened about 2015 i think it was anyway they got that all fixed and here's one of the artists here he's not at his little station right now but he plays the guitar and they play for money but this is a great little store and then we have m's pub and omaha prime but there's just lots of shopping down here lots of cool restaurants and if you can't find it down here, I don't know what to say because the food's incredible here. And then the Havana Garage is straight ahead and that's where the cigar bar is with the cognac and the wine and the beer and just fun people to hang out with. They also get horse, horse and carriage rides and um, they also have farmer's markets down here, but this is the original market from like the 1800s. Anyway, have a great time in Nebraska.